Sorry to cut John off, I just wanted to welcome the audience and let them know that John just rolled in with the brand new D-Nail, the 2.0. And uh, apparently there are a couple of new things in here that Brian and Stevie wanted me to check out. Should we rip it open or what? Well, you know, I picked it up and I opened it and looked at it and I went, I gotta get it here. <laughs> if I go any farther... Alright, well, let's Yeah, I just uh, saw stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff, so... Just turn it around, too. Well, first off... Yeah. First off the box... We have the whips. So, this is... A titanium nail post whip. Same as the original one that I have. Cool. No. Very cool, very cool. Um, oh, here's the quartz one. This one is the quartz whip. Same thing right there. Um, these were actually all packaged up. Obviously, when John walked in, it wasn't the first time he walked in. We just wanted to let you know. We wanted to show everyone us opening the box. We opened it real quick, and then we put it back in here. So when you see us pulling things out that aren't wrapped up, don't think the guys at D-Nail aren't packaging this impeccably. They are, they did, and we were stoked. But we're sharing it with you now as if we're opening it for the first time, which really about 20 minutes ago we opened it for the first time. So. Here's a new product. Um, this is the new post heater. You yeah. can see the old one here. A little bit of a different product. It's got the nail already screwed in there, which I did just a few minutes ago. Let me get that out. Oh, it's spinning up top. That might not. Yeah. So that's the new post heater. A little bit different. I'll be taking good photos of all these products as well so we can get a good idea. Uh, it's always nice to see them up, you know, really close. That's the titanium nail. That's pretty cool when I saw the post here. Um, okay, let's pull the, well, this, these are the two power cords. Um, yeah, I'm going to plug them in. The two sections. One thing we haven't done is we have not plugged it in yet. We have no idea what the part's going to be. Yes, and this secondary power cord, it came and I looked at it, I thought it was a little bit strange and lo and behold, it comes with a remote control that allows you to turn the unit on from a distance. So I thought that was a really pretty cool little, I mean not that I mind leaning over and clicking my D-nail on, but I have to admit I thought that was pretty cool of them. Alright, so you want to get that on there, do you? Well, I was thinking maybe. Seems like you were having a bit of a difficulty. Well, no, I was deciding if I was going to tear it into it. Gotta do it. If I was going to cut it. Gotta tear. 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 Right, so it's so. like, when I got the call, I was uh, I was actually at um, Cannabis Culture, yep. CHQ, and uh, yep. talking with uh, the people there. And all right, you want to plug that into the wall around the corner there? I'd go the other side. There we go. All right, so here, hold this. We'll get rid of this box. Now here's the new 2.0 D nail custom bubble man edition. Sweet. I thought that was really really cool. Let me yeah. put that little. No, that was really awesome. They've got. Dry sift gland heads, which is probably your dry sift, because I sent them photos. I can't remember if it was yours or Sam's or mine or. But it's, it's very likely it could be yours. And then they did my logo in there. Really did a great job on that. The unit is quite a bit smaller than the last email. I'm. Uh, I have one here. It's unfortunately not a plastic. Uh, just a plastic bodied one. Just give it a little unplug so I can show you guys the wood box version right here and here's the 2.0 next to it so obviously the wooden box is um, additional size added there's a smaller unit inside there but it gives you a pretty good idea that you know I'd say they cut this D nail down by about at least one third and close to half it's pretty good eh? <laughs> I'm like I love it uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna hit you're getting the first hit out of it how about that Oh, wow, look at the colors in there. Oh, can I have that in the box? I wanted to actually open those all out at it, if that's possible. Thanks, brother. 
so this was typed. And so oh, bubble man. Bubble man. All right, so this should also have, yes, that little guy goes there. So these three, three new quartz pieces that they sent. These are a long time coming because they've watched me use everything from a ruler bowl to a canine pipe. <laughs> and these are quartz, I believe they're quartz, um, carb caps. And so there's the quartz bowl. And you can see instead of going around the outside of the bowl, it actually fits uh, around the inside. It makes it a lot more stable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm check that guy out. There's the bowl. And I think they sent a couple more versions. What we got here. Oh wow, fancy. I like that one. How about that one? It's like a little mushroom top with a little yeah. head on it there. Cool, cool. That one that one's snug, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh nice. nice. I like the snug. That one's snug. Well the other one wasn't a snug, as you already felt that, right? Yeah, that is yeah, nice. That one's snug. I like Very that one. nice. So we got that one. We got that one. Yeah. We got this. Last one. Before we can, hey, we've got to try this remote control thing too. Probably. Uh... <laughs> so what do you do? You just turn it on. Oh wait, we got to put the whip in first. So there's the other uh, uh, carb cap. Quite nice. It's got slits on the inside. That would be on the outside. Oh yeah, those are slits. That's an outside one. That's an outside one for sure. No. Uh, yeah. And it's also a dabber. Will that be for the titanium? This one's also a dabber. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Mm, you could carve with that. That's how my yeah, cards would fit, but I'd say that's just as good. I, I'm i pretty sure he knows I hit only with yeah. quartz, but we'll ask Brian. Yeah. Should we be using these with the quartz or the tie, or can we use them with both? Probably well, doesn't matter. I think we're, we're about to use them all right now. We're going to hit all you. <laughs> <laughs> we are. It's, why do you think I'm here? Look at me. I know. You're, you're ready. Actually, John off camera already took the most gigantic of rips. So he's completely I mean, well, something. I was well rounded right now. Oh, I would say just uh, functioning a lot better. Yeah, well, that was some of D420K's dry sift that you hit there out of the Swiss perk. That's a nice thing. All right, so there's our little remote control. Here's our whip because we're going to go quartz. We are going to go quartz, John. And of course, we're going to hit that mothership. Yes, we'll pull out the mothership for this. This is uh, the cleaner of the two bombs that I have, so I'm probably. And of course, I got resin. Yes, me as well. I have some very nice full melt dry sift. But uh, some, uh, if you want to fill yourself up a bowl of your own first, I totally understand. I'm going to smoke the dry sifts. Which dry sift? Well, we're going to have the dry sift that you have from DK. Ah, uh, yes. I have some dry sift from D420K, and then I also have some dry sift that I made. From yeah. from their resin. I actually have that here too. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's what you made. You're on it. Okay, so shall we plug this whip in and see? Uh... All right, let's try this unit out and see what she's saying. We got this part in between that I don't quite understand. It is plugged in. Let's see if we gotta turn this on. I suspect this has no batteries. No, that has no batteries. So here, let's take this and plug it in direct okay. without the remote control. And that way, I think we'll get our temperature. Yeah, it's turning on. It's on at 72 right now. There's a battery. Oh, you got a little battery in there? And um, the battery is not fun. So, let's see what temperature we're going to... Alright, she's climbing. I love getting new toys, you never know. You know, you never know. I remember the first time I got my first D-Nail, it has two switches at the back of it, and I had only hit the one. And I completely thought that it was not working. And in the end, it was working beyond perfectly. I just had to sort of get on my own uh, uh, inability to use it. So we're climbing up, 294, 312, 332. Wow, it's a nice little small unit, I'll tell you. Excellent. Well, we'll plug that in in a bit, and we'll try it out, because that's pretty cool. <coughs> I know. I just like had a, even though it wasn't working, I was like, check it out. It's got a button. 
okay. Yeah. Lights up. <laughs> well, it's work. It will work. Right, but right. we'd have to plug it back into uh, this little piece right here that came with it, and I guess that sounds German. It, it does, but it doesn't really explain. I guess it just has this little button. You push the button, and this little button goes on, guaranteed. Well, should we try it? Well, we'll let this. Let's. We gotta let this get up. What are we at? Six thirty. I don't know. We just gotta plug that in and plug in little control and turn it back on. Oh, I like how it's lowered my bowl on my last um, D nail. I they sent me an eighteen by mistake, and I all my bongs are fourteen. So I have this piece between my D nail and the and the pipe, and it was it was putting the nail right here. So this is gonna be. Oh wow! Yeah, I just noticed that right now. It's quite a nice treat to smoke like that. Because last time we were doing it, and that thing was getting a little close. Yeah, even now when I was carving you on this one, it was touching your hat. I know. So we do what we have to do. We're not too fussy, but it is nice when things can work out a little better than uh, than that. I think they're doing a nice job of, like, that's just like... You know what? The box is sleek. I yeah. really am going to miss the zebra box. I have the zebra wood. I have to admit, I, um, I sold my other D-nail to D420K. You can check him out on his YouTube channel. And you've got your YouTube channel up now too, don't you? I've had one for about five years. I mean, you're actually doing something on it. I I'm going to do something on it. Right, right, right. So <laughs> he's had one for five years, but now he's actually doing something on it. So you might want to check out John H. Perfello. What is your YouTube? John H. Perfello. Perfect! John H. Perfello. Check out his YouTube. He's going to be doing his own content as well because he can't... He can't just give me all his awesome content, he's got to you know, promote his own page and he wants to explain to you his grow and uh, what he uses and how he does it. So lots of you have had questions for me, go over to John H. Perfello's uh, YouTube page and you can, uh, you can learn the right, right now on that questions from you. Page is just uh, well, me fighting in my injuries so you can actually get to know uh, what I'm about Beautiful. and where I came. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I, I want you to have the first hit on this. Well, you know what? That's an all. That's... It's great! I, I'm gonna... You want the gold dabber? I'm gonna do the... One, the 90 fresh frozen. I think it's more than I, I think appropriate. That one's, you know... That's how turn the hat around. You know, that video of us doing the fresh frozen is almost at 10,000 hits now. Wow. Well, yeah, it's neat to know, you know, that people yeah, are people watching will, it. You know what? Um, I'm learning. Like talking with people, and like I was talking to you there uh, on the weekend, people coming over. I'm talking again today, and and everybody wants to know, hey, how am I doing this? I want to get away from the shatter, and uh, this. I, I've used two bags my whole time. How are you making it melt? And I'm like, well, <laughs> if you want, just go do a bubble man's world and uh, learn. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know what, and that's why when they ask me about how you grow and what you use, I just say, you know, go check out John Rafello's page because. He, he's the man that's doing it. He knows what he's doing. He can answer your questions better, better than I can. I can't answer your questions at all. So it's not even a matter of answering them better. I just, I'm not John. I don't grow his, his resin. I just get to, I, I'm lucky enough that you bring it over and you share it with me. Well, I think a lot of people are, will be quite surprised of um, how small of a garden that I run and what I do and stuff like that and how it just gives me this quality of life. But you know what, that's important for people to see. You know, in the yeah. world of the internet, I know that it's great that people love to assume large, big. You show only pictures of colas for the longest time. And, you know, for me as a photographer, I've gone into many, many, many gardens. And I've actually had gardeners ask me, like, not to shoot their distance shots. They want macro shots, but they don't want me shooting their garden from the door. You know, they're like, oh, it's not that great, it's not that clean. And I'm like, you know what? It's it's your garden. It is what it is. And it's, why does everything have to be a multi-million dollar grow room? You can grow this plant in a small space and take care of, you know, a, a multitude of problems. Ten by ten? Ten by ten, you know? Like, look at Phil. We went up to Whistler to meet with I'm Phil. Phil. He, no. He's got his room full of tents. Yeah, he's got his two tents in there. Great! I loved it! Yeah, no, it made I was me really, smile. It made me smile too. Phil's yeah. a good guy. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's got a YouTube channel, but uh, if he did, I would be giving him a shout out right now. And now we're gonna hit some of uh, D420K's Derisift. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited to hit the brand new Dina. I can't tell you. I didn't do the dump when I first did it, so it melted. So Time to get so high up. I think I like 
out and I'm glad I found a carb out. That was the best carb I've ever used. Yeah, I think that way. I, that I don't way. even know why, but that was just so. Right away, I could tell. It just went Did you here. hear the sift boil yeah. when I dropped it in? <coughs> Two thumbs up, D Nail, Stevie, Brian. You guys are doing good things. I love the fact that you're constantly pushing the boundaries. You're constantly upping the quality of your product. You're constantly um, looking to pioneer new things. We're going to continue to hit this D-nail, as well as um, use all three dabbers that we got from you. I'm going to try that one right now. And uh, just want to give you guys a shout out. Check D-nail out on their web uh, <coughs> Facebook page. It's uh, D-nail. Yeah. Yeah, I always tag him. <coughs> Such a great little unit. I love how this one is just just so tiny. And remote control. Yeah. And remote control. Have you we seen do. them talking about being like click? Go, hey man, let's just go over there. Sorry, we be here. Yeah, no, it's ready to go. Don't worry about it. Well, we gotta yeah. plug it in and use the remote Keep control. Neck. Should we do it? Yeah. We'll shut her down. Unplug her. Unplug it in. And turn it on. And then we'll check the front and see if it's on. We do it. And it's just not on. Alright, so. Let's hit that button. Here, you want to hit it over there? Yeah, sure. Alright. So, uh, here we go. On. on it went. I heard it click on the, on the wall, so I knew right away that it went on. Just again, a really cool little thing. Obviously, you could probably buy this component yourself, but. It's important, that they're adding it. it's important to support the people that are pioneering the ideas, who are making these things work. It's not always the most important thing to try and, oh, I could probably go buy one of these from... It's like, support these guys. They're doing good things, and I, I'm just really stoked to, be, uh, to have gotten turned on to the electronic mail. We got to bypass the torch thing. We never torched. I torched. Really? I remember I was... I, uh, I got a little bit? All these little videos that I've done. I torched. And, and I would torch the nail. I was, I was dabbing dry sifts. I was doing that at all of these dab bars. Like, right. oh, I started dabbing dry sifts with the torch. Mm. And people were like, no way. And then, like the flavor was awesome. So oh, yeah. I was the guy dabbing dry sifts. So I was torching, but I was right. dabbing dry sifts. I totally bypassed torching. Yeah. I did. Yeah, well, I never. Don't I don't. Know. I've never owned one. You, you puffed, and then you went right into a sublimator, and then you went right into the dab. Had the ember. Yeah. yeah. You know, the ember's great. Very, very tasty flavor saver. I sometimes miss putting the screen on there with the, the, with the full melt and the bubble hash. Or oh, I know. It just it. looks proper, you know? Yeah. This here, you don't really get to see it as much. It's but true. You, you can, but um, like when I'm at home on my bong, it's nice to see that. He's like, it's true. I think I put like a little... What is that? So this is the, the final thing, and I believe, I believe this is a, a ceramic insert that will fit inside... Well, they sealed it off for sure. I'm gonna put dry stuff on there. Watch a bubble. It's the it's the the flavor saver apparently. So. Oh, is that one? Okay, you would know. You know, this is ceramic instead of titanium. So, little white disc, tie nail, fits right in there, and it actually sits right on top. I thought it actually settled down into it. Don't we need dry stuff on that? We have to. We have to do some. Uh, I wonder if it fits on the quartz as well. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Just throw it on. I bet you it does. Just throw it on. <laughs> I think I was like, just throw it on. You know? Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Little ceramic insert. I guess we gotta have a hit of that. <laughs> <laughs> It definitely makes it to me seem like the way it fits anyway. First bounce. Beautiful. The way it fits is not something you'd want to pass around. I think no, the way no, this I is, you sit down. you'd want to put the pipe where you need it and then take the hit right off of it. Do you want me to load it up for you? What do you want? What would you like, John? You want your first bounce? Yeah. This is this? Oh, it's so tasty. You're, you know, you're the that. one hitting it first, so you can tell me on the way out. Cool. Oh. First one to hit the ceramic flavor saver disc. Do you think it's hot enough? Um, well, 
I don't think ceramic is going to take very long to max out on its temperature, but we could give it a few more minutes because I can honestly be honest. I don't know. Yeah. I'm no expert on titanium or quartz or yeah. ceramic. I listen to a lot of you guys argue on the internet and I find it somewhat laughable, particularly when people say that the titanium is medical grade. I, I hope you guys understand that means that it's uh, graded to be put inside someone's body, I not to heat up red hot and smoke resin off of. I got some medical yeah, titanium. of course you do, but it's medical grade why? I know, because it's in my neck. But they're arguing that it's medical grade and that's why it's better yeah. to smoke off of. Yeah, I'm gonna take the, the, the titanium out of my neck and smoke on it. Dude, neck dabs? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could just bend a piece out, put the little hole there, and you could dab. Oh, wow. Anyway, we're just be babbling. But honestly, I don't pretend to know the most about this. I'm bioassaying it all. I don't like the idea of the metal as much as quartz. Ceramic seems pretty cool, but from what I've read, there's qualities of ceramic, so I guess that's another thing to do research on. It's important for you guys to do your own research. John can let us know about taste right in a minute. How was that? <laughs> tell us, John, tell us! <laughs> it, it was, As you can see, the size of that hoop and the flavor is... I mean, some was left on the dabber. Oh, I know, it was melting on the dabber. But, wow, it looked killer. I think it might be a better one to dab with snakes. Wow, I got a nice little riff from that though, it was like a zing. This is just literally the tiny little bit that you didn't finish. Probably be a better idea with the with this particular stuff to, to dab. Is it? Oh look at that dome and look that was beautiful. That was two great big clear domes that like you would believe. Yeah. See that that that's what I we just talked about what I was missing and then you pull that out and then it's right there. So that would be your first bounce, so it's probably about 98%, like 97%. <coughs> <coughs> wow. <coughs> that's interesting. I like that. I do too. We need more than one. I'm not going to break that one. <laughs> no, I mean, because there's... See, that what a one, cool concept. Yeah, we were just talking about having to put a screen on there. What I was, yeah, literally, and, and kind of, I thought these inserted into the bowl. Yeah, you I really did. I never thought they would sit on top, but I love the idea for photography, for the visual, that the thing we were missing that we were literally just talking about. I know, that's what was so cool about that it. That was nuts! Like, like, it doubled up twice. It's just like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge domes. It Those would have made a great video with the clean white ceramic and the bubbling dome. That was beautiful. We'll try to get one. It's dirty now. I don't know how clean I'm going to be able to get the ceramic, how porous it is, but maybe if I flame it, I'll get it white hot. Oh, no, if you what? flame it, that's the way you get it. Like, with any kind of anything. I don't have a flame, it. though. Isn't that ridiculous? It's why this quartz nail has never been cleaned. I need to torch that thing. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for joining us. We babbled on for longer than we need to, but really, the bottom line is the D-Nail is a killer product. When combined with a pipe like the Mothership, and a quality resin like what John, myself, and D420K have been sharing with you all to make wet wash, uh, water hash, and dry sifted. Just give them some education. Clean okay. sift, yeah. When those three are combined, wow. they're just an absolute pipe trifecta. So. True medicine. Yeah, true medicine. Thanks Just again for coming out, John. Super appreciate uh, you bringing the 2.0 by.